And he won't even see a doctor. What, he reckons he can march his way through a migraine? Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, mean, I know he's been under a lot of pressure. He felt terrible about Keeper. Yeah, and on top of that, Marley's feeling haunted by Remus. Really? Well, yeah, it's my shorthand. He's been talking about him a lot. He's been dreaming about him. I really think he needs to go back to the counsellor. It is really tough. Yeah, so, so it's no wonder that Drew's getting headaches when he's trying to operate on someone else's kid. Right? Right. Yeah, that's, that's really stressful. But that's what it will be. It'll be stress. And God knows I'm not helping with that. What if... What? What if it's something more serious? Well, he has been pretty erratic. I, I don't mean to be negative. Drew can't get seriously ill right now. He just can't. Well, twist his arm and get him in front of a GP, yeah? I'm sorry I'm late. How's Kiwa? Yeah, he's, um, he's good. What a relief. We're sorry we put you in that position. Are you firing us? Way to get to the point. Sorry, I have to know. I'm not firing you. Oh, thank God. I, I should never have asked you to start the clinic up again. The clinic is necessary. There were so many people. Whole families. We can't stop it now. No, I understand, but the clinic is just a drop in the bucket. And if we can't staff it the way it should be, we can't provide the level of care that the people need. So we up the staffing, increase the hours, provide more services? Without our main shareholders know to say. Stuff them. I'm on board. You know, many of us would be. Well, what if we told Monique, you know? Brought her into the fold on the on the deal. Ask her to keep a secret from her bosses. Have you lost your mind? If you saw the people we were helping, you would feel the same way. I do feel the same way. It doesn't feel that way. Gia. I'm not afraid to say it, because you're hiding in the shadows. You're afraid of Monique, of all people. This is our hospital too. We should all have a say. Yeah, no, it's too risky. Money is already on to us and we would be putting people's jobs in jeopardy. Some things are more important. Well, that's easy for you to say, Chris. Chris is right. If you're not brave enough to get this clinic open, we'll do it without you. We'll do that and you might leave me with no choice. Turn the place upside down, haven't you? Remus named me. Molly. We had to build it. Oh, yeah? Why did you have to build the fort? Because there's an alien invasion. Hey. Hey, how have you been? Oh, I was just having a lie down. I swear I was quiet. Remus was a bit loud, though. Okay, that'd be good. Let's help me tidy up. Come on. Remus won't like you destroying his fun. You leave Remus to me. Don't buy into it. I had to play with him because everyone else is working or busy or fighting. Look, sometimes adults just get a bit irritated when they're tired, that's all. That's right, mate. I'll bounce back tomorrow, I promise. But then you'll be working too. We'll get him back to counselling. He's just missing Remus. And something's clearly not right with you, too. You never get migraines. What am I supposed to do about it? Listen to your body, Drew, and go see the GP. We stand our ground. The clinic, or we walk? What, like walk out? What's she saying? Yikes. I'm in. So am I. Even if that means a long walk to the dog here? What's this? Esther wants to shut down the free clinic. We don't want that to happen. I guess there is always a demand for nurses. What? I, I can't lose you two. I can't use the bureau anymore. I can't recruit new nurses fast enough. And the staff that I do have, they're all burnt out while I'm run ragged. Now you lot want to play your silly little games and get yourself sacked. That was never the plan. And all behind my damn back. We were trying to protect department heads. And that's what we did. You're not in trouble. Well, hallelujah. So if anything shows up in the bloods, you'll contact me? Yeah, that's right. Sometimes a headache is just a headache though, right? From what you've been telling me about your life in recent months, we also need to consider depression. Depression? Not possible. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Depression can sometimes manifest as stress headaches or anger. You've had a number of negative interactions with people. That's just life, mate, right? It's not all rainbows and unicorns. 
This is a referral to a clinic that specializes in mood disorders. What do I mean? They offer a range of treatment from therapy to medication. Hey, babe, it's just me. Call me back, yeah? Phil's taking off somewhere. No, keep running, girl. It's not very nice. What, did you guys have a photo or something? She was acting a bit weird last night, but now she's just gone. Yeah, well, she probably needs a break. I know I do. Really? That bad? Chris persuaded you to be a part of his clinic, didn't he? No, and it's not just his. Gia's the driving force. Well, yay for Gia. Oh, come on. It's about helping people at the bottom of the heap and the back of the line. You can't be against that. No, but there's a way to go about it without causing chaos. Well, maybe you're right, but it wasn't cool to go off at Chris like that. Tough. You just felt left out. Took it personally. He's wreaking havoc with my nurses. Yeah, not just your nurses by the look of it. To your heart as well. Can you concentrate on your own love life? Wise ass. Fire, yeah. Little face on my wing.